Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman. Today is Monday, February the 18th, 2019. It's just gone 11.30pm here in New Zealand. And as requested, this video is for Mr Thrive and Survive, who has requested this uh, simulated view of the moon as seen from Phoenix, Arizona on February 16, 2019. I'm using Starry Night Pro version 6. As you can see on the left hand side, we've got the information for the moon. Uh, moonrise was at almost 3.06 p.m. on the 16th of February and transit across the meridian is at 10.23 p.m. We've got the position in the sky there. I'll just close this box so that I can bring into view this information down the bottom. We've got the uh, azimuth direction or compass direction here and we've got the altitude of the moon there. I've got time stopped at the moment. Down the bottom we've got other data including the phase of the moon, waxing gibbous moon 11.61 days old and we've also got the disk illumination there at 90% also the angular size. Now the moon is in the sky in the daytime here at this time so what I'm going to do is turn off the daylight just to make it easier to see. You can see I've got the grid view there and also I've got a yellow field of view marker to simulate a photo frame. You can see I've got the pole sticks marked and the equator for the moon as well. So we're going to see some rotation which once again is caused by field rotation uh, which is quite normal but Mr Thrive and Survive wanted to see the uh, apparent rotation of, of the moon. So I've got this set to one minute increments. I'm going to run this forward and remember that the moon crosses the meridian at 10.23 p.m. So running it forward now and we can see it's sort of rocking back uh, sort of anti-clockwise there and then it will start tilting clockwise direction. Now it looks like there's not a lot of movement happening until it gets higher in the sky and approaching the meridian which uh, again crosses at 10.23. It is now 9.30 p.m. coming up 10 p.m. now and we've crossed the meridian and we're tilting in the other direction. And once again this is field rotation because we're following the moon across the sky and rotating on the spot. We've also got the earth rotating as well. Now of course I understand that this is from a globe point of view but this is what we're looking at of course using Starry Night. Now the horizon will be coming up and the moon will disappear from view. And now the moon is below the horizon. Thank you for watching.